low damage here. In late game, you're looking at what is probably going to be somewhat of a glass cannon Renekton build with what we saw earlier was a yeah. Tiamat into a Black Guzan split up up top. Could just be a attempted smite war by Wings. Peanuts really low in the pit. They jump straight on a wing. They blow him up. Nice first kill there for Prey. Smab up the front line is going to get stunned by that equilibrium strike. Trying to get a chase on into Kuzan or Che. We're both chunked out. The tether comes through. Flash away from the Vladimir. We'll keep him safe with the speed up shield. Comes through from Smab. Gets on the trace. A flash forward straight into the nice Q, Into the W. Nicely played by Rock's Tigers. They find themselves a second kill. And an Infernal Drake should follow very soon. That was a great prediction on. I love his wards because he is the ward. <laughs> That's all you oh need. God. Kuzan, wow, look at that chain CC. Didn't even have a chance to go into the Sanguine Bull. Used Ghost too, so he's going to lose that. Kuzan goes down. That should be the turret falling in mid. What an opening for Rock. Yep. That well, impact but a bit of damage in there. Glacial Fisher comes out. Smep dashes out. Jukes out the arrow. Nice flash from Koro. We'll deny that. Meanwhile, Wings getting jumped on the proto belt. Not going to be able to confirm the kill. But Smep goes for and says, I got you, buddy. I'll take him out. Tether comes through. Kuzan flashes out of range. That's going to be the tier two going down in the bottom side. And Rocks are just really starting to stretch his lead. Nice. W stun on the pilot. Not the very best idea if you are Janair. Wow. You can see oh, he's going to get rooted. Curtain call comes down. It's high noon. Trace going to take one to the face, but Peanut still finalizes the kill. Looks like he will be able to exit safely as Koro roams up from the bottom. And uh, yeah, if you're Jyn'Air, you just literally can't go anywhere. Their power is in their damage, They're their trying burst, to buy time. and their CC. Yeah, just go for it. There's super creeps on the last yep. Nexus Tower right now. They find Wing and they just blow him up yet again. So that's going to confirm this Baron for them 100%. Meanwhile, Jyn'Air is losing the vestiges of their base that are still standing. So Baron going over to Rocks in 28 minutes, 7. So I think he's actually not done it. Goro, though, going to get jumped on, takes a bunch of good. But look at that shield coming out. They're going to find Pilot right off the bat. Kuzan trying to equalize something with a trade, but he's just not able to find it. Meanwhile, Trace goes down. A kill picked up here for Prey. Kuzan exiting through his own jungle. They try to get on the wing. They will be able to lock him up. Look at the damage from the Reddington. They take him out. It's just going to be the Braum and Vladimir left to try to defend this base, but it's a hopeless task as the last Nexus start goes down. And in 30 and a half minutes, Rock Tigers come swinging out the gate 10 0 over top of Jin Air. Might have to make that 11. We'll give it a sec. 11 to 1 over Jin Air Green Wings. And this looks much more like the Rocks Tigers that we saw in the spring season. Yes, it does.